Welcome to Singing Time. This is Sister Cotton, and today we're going to be singing two songs. Jesus Said Love Everyone, that is on page 61, and Families Can Be Together Forever, that is on page 188. So first, sing with me, Jesus Said Love Everyone. Ready? Jesus said love everyone, treat them kindly too. When your heart is filled with love, others will love you. Now I know most of you know that song, but have you ever stopped to think about what it actually means? Who is the song talking about? Hmm. Well, the beginning, Jesus tells us to love everyone. That doesn't mean everyone except our really annoying brother or everyone except that kid who was mean to me at school. Jesus said, love everyone. Treat them kindly too. How do you think that would make a difference to people that are hard to love? Pause the video and discuss with your family. Okay, we're back. Why do you think it's important to love everyone? Why do you think it's important to treat them kindly? Do you think even when someone is not treating you kindly, you could make a difference if you treated them kindly? We can teach by example. Why guy knows we can teach by example. Let's try that song again. This time we'll use our actions. Jesus said, love everyone, treat them kindly too. When your heart is filled with love, others will love you. Hmm, why guy has a question. Is that a guarantee that when your heart is filled with love, others will love you? What do you think? Pause the video and discuss. Okay, we're back. Do you think that others will automatically love you if your heart is filled with love and you're treating them kindly? Well, some will for sure, but maybe not every person. Some people have a really hard time treating other people kindly and a really hard time showing love, especially right now while so many people are scared and stressed out. Does that mean that we should not treat them kindly? And if they're being mean to us, we should be mean back? I don't think that's what it means. I think Jesus wanted to remind us that if we fill our heart with love, whose love are we talking about? We're talking about his love. If we fill our heart with his love, then we will feel all the love around us and others will be more able to feel his love through us as well. Let's sing our song one more time. This time, think about the words and think about how you can love others even more than you are today. Jesus said, love everyone, treat them kindly too. When your heart is filled with love, others will love you. That was great. Okay, now we're going to move on to our second song. Families can be together forever. I have a picture of my family here on earth. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I bet a lot of you have pictures of your families too. And that's how this song starts. I have a family here on earth. They are so good to me. I want to share my life with them through all eternity. Wow, there's a lot packed into that first verse. Did you know this verse before? All of us have family members here on earth and they're so very good to us. But we have an added bonus. We know what we can do to spend our lives with our families forever through all eternity. There are sweet covenants and promises 
that we make in the temple that help our families get bound together forever and ever. And then we can be with them together forever, which is the chorus of this song. Sing it with me. Families can be together forever through Heavenly Father's plan. I always want to be with my own family. And the Lord has shown me how I can. The Lord has shown me how I can. Great job. Okay, so let's think about this. Why guy wants to know, why is it important for families to be together forever? Pause the video and discuss. Okay, we're back. Why do you think it's important for families to be together forever? I know when I think about my family, there's a lot of things that happen in our life today that can be scary. And we have loved ones who when they die and they go back, we want to live with them again. We want to see them again. We want to know that our family unit wasn't just something that was temporary, wasn't just something here for now, but that we'll have it together. And did you know the cool thing? That's Heavenly Father's plan. He wants us to be together forever. He wants our families to be together forever. And he's made us a way so that we can be. That's his whole plan, to help us to be perfected and eternal just like he is forever with our families. Let's sing the song one more time. I have a family here on earth. They are so good to me. I want to share my life with them through all eternity. Families can be together forever. Through Heavenly Father's plan, I always want to be with my own family. And the Lord has shown me how I can. The Lord has shown me how I can. Thanks for singing with me today at Singing Time. This week, Try to think about how you can both be kind to everyone, especially your family members right now. Everyone is kind of under a lot of stress. We have a lot of questions we don't know the answers to, but we're all trying to do our best in a small space to be together with each other and be safe and loving. So try to you sing that song whenever you're tempted to do something not so kind. Sing, Jesus said, love everyone. Treat them kindly too. When your heart is filled with love, others will love you. And remember, while you're trying to be kind, why we're trying to be kind. Because we're following Heavenly Father's plan so our families can be back together forever. I love you. We'll see you next time.